In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a macro file in DaVinci Resolve and then also use macro files or import macro files in your project so that you can use them again and again. So the main purpose of a macro file is that you can use a template that you created in Fusion so that you don't need to create it again and again. You can simply create a macro file and then do some adjustments using that macro file when you import that in DaVinci Resolve. If you have used after effects in after effects we create a after effects file which we can use in premiere pro that is basically called a mogurt file so this is going to work similarly we create a macro file which is kind of like a mogurt file for davinci resolve just like a mogurt file is for premiere pro so we're going to see how to create this macro file over here i have a simple animation as you can see this is a fusion composition simple we have a background animating and a text right on so what we need to do is we will export this as a macro file and when we have that macro file we can customize the text so we can basically change the text and we can also change the color of the text and the background as well so first thing is that the best practice is to change the name over here you can uh, change the name of the text so basically this will help us when we create the macro file so that we can easily adjust our text later on so let's just say this is text so that this is simple to read and we also need to change the color of the background so I'm going to also rename this you can also press F2 to rename a node Let's call this background color. All right, so once you have your project one, just go ahead and select all the nodes that you have in your project, but make sure you don't select the media out. Now right click on any, on any of the nodes and then you will see a option of macro. So go ahead and select this option of create macro. Now this will give you the option of creating the macro file. Now the first thing that you need to know is that the final node, which is basically the merge 2, as you can see over here, we have this final node that is called merge 2. So make sure this is all always clicked as output. Just don't do anything with this merge node, which is the final merge node that is connecting with the media out. Otherwise this file will not function properly. You will probably see a black, black screen. Now, what we need to do is we need to allow the user, anybody who is going to use this macro file to change the text and the background color. So make sure that these two are the ones that we are going to see over here. Okay, so over here you can see we have this write on start as well, write on end as well, which is basically the write on effect that I have. So and also the path, which is the path of this background. So basically when the background is animating, it is also giving us the option over here. I'm going to leave them as they are, but I'm going to show you how you can change the text. So go to the text and over here is minimize this image and go right into this text over here. And here you can click on any of these options to allow the user to change these later on. So right now we have a style text. I'm going to enable this. The font, we can also change the font. We want the user to change the font, the style, the color. So make sure you select all of these. And uh, I'm just going to leave the alpha unchecked because we don't need to uh, have this option. We just want to change the colors. We can also change the size of the text and the tracking of the text. So this is pretty much it. We don't need any other option as of now. This is all we need. And we also need to change the background color. So over here we have this node called background color. Go ahead, minimize this image once again, and you will find the option of color. Here you can click on type, which is basically telling you which type of color it is. And then you can select all of these. Leave the alpha out. Just select all of these. This is for the top left. This is for the top right bottom left and bottom right so this is when you are going to be using gradients or over here you can see we have a solid color which will be 
basically red, blue, green. But if you have four corner, this will be the option when you need all of these selected. Also go ahead and check the gradient. So you can also use the gradient option. Make sure that you select all of these. And also select this interpolation space. This will allow you these different options for RGB and so on. So this is all the customization that we need as of now. Once you have all the options selected that you want to customize in your macro file, just go ahead and select close. And this will give you the option to save the macro file. So click on yes. And here it is giving you the option to save the macro file. So go ahead and just copy this address over here. And you can save the macro file with any name that you want. I'm just going to type in macro demo. And let's go ahead and click save. All right, so we have saved the macro file. But right now, we need to add this to our project as well. So over here, you will see that we don't have any. If you go ahead and search for macro demo, you will see that we don't get anything. We don't get any effect, but we want that to appear over here. So the way that we do that is go back to the Fusion tab and over here, go to the effects and open up templates. So this is basically all the effects that we have in Vinci Resolve. There will be different templates as well. So over here in the templates, you if you go to the edit section, you will see that this is the same panel, the titles panel that we have in our timeline. This is the same thing as this. So go over to the template section and here you will find the option of edit. And here you can go to titles or anywhere that you want to add the macro file. You can also add it in the fusion tab as well. But I'm going to just add it to the titles because this is a simple text effect. Now in order to add it along with these different titles, Go ahead over here and right click. You will get an option of show folder. So if you click on this, so this will take you to the folder where we need to import our macro file. Right now, as you can see, this is an empty directory, but we will add our macro file that we just saved over here. So go ahead and open up your macro file. So there I have opened up the folder where we saved our macro file. As you can see, we have the macro demo. So go ahead, copy this or cut this and paste it over here in the titles. So now if we go back to DaVinci Resolve, here you will see in the titles, if we scroll down, here we have macro demo. So this is imported in our folder, titles folder. And if you now go back to the timeline and search for, or if you even go to the title section and scroll down, you will see we get this option. You can even search for it. And now if we drag this to our timeline, let's just zoom in. And if you select this, you will see we have the option over here. So let me just play this for now. And here you can see we have our title over here. And the animation works just fine. And now let's say we want to change the text. So we can do that over here. As you can see, there is an option to change the text. And here you can see the text is changed now. We can change the text. We can also change the color of the background. Here you can see we have the solid color option. We even have the gradient options. As you can see, we selected all the options when we were enabling the options for top left, top right. So these are the ones. And you can also add a gradient like this. And now if you go down, you will see we can change the font as well. We can change the size of the font as well, color of the font as well, as you can see over here, and even the tracking. So all the options that we selected are now available over here. So this is how you can create macro files and import them in your DaVinci Resolve folder over here, the main the effects folder. And you now you can use them in any project. So if you open up any project, you will be able to use this macro demo as long as it remains in your titles folder.
So I hope this video was beneficial and I'll see you in the next one.